In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a, a collection of uh, sort of, well, an assembly and inventor uh, with all its parts and IDWs, etc., and then be able to send it through to someone else. Now, what you can do over here, so you, you know, as an inventor, you've got, you know, your assembly file, you've got drawing files, you've got, you know, part files, and they can be scattered all over the place. They can also be in a folder structure that sort of goes down like this, you know, base, uh, there's my base one, two, three, and four. Uh, base deck, you know, you've got that base deck one over there. So you know, what happens is you might have some folder folders over here. You might have even your, your inventor library component somewhere else. And, you know, how do we collect them all very quickly without having to go to each different location and, and, and go and grab it? So what Autodesk has got, Autodesk Inventor has got, is something called Pack and Go. So you select the assembly that you want, right click, and you'll see there's a Pack and Go over here. Now, with the Pack and Go, you'll see there I've got this pack and go dialog box pops up. Now, at the moment over here, I tell me that's the source file that it's gonna take and then where's the destination going to be? So I'm just gonna go back here quickly. I'm just gonna go and copy this and we're gonna go paste it over here and I'm gonna just say pack and go, okay. Now what we do, so it, it gets the reference the project file for that, okay, and I'm going to go search now. So what's going to do is going to search for all the corresponding, all the, the, the files attached to that. So it looks at the assembly file, then it goes and looks for all the part files um, and sub-assembly files that are attached to that over there. Okay, so it's loaded up, and at the bottom over here, you can see there it puts in all those different files over here. Okay. Now, once you've got that done, now you need to decide how do you want to copy it. Do you want to copy it to a single path? Do you want to keep the folder hierarchy? So that folder hierarchy would be going into each of the individual folders that I showed you just earlier on. Then you can skip libraries, skip styles, skip templates, and package as a zip file as well. So once you've got that all done, um, we can click on search now as well and click for additional reference files, which would be, say, for instance, your IDW or DWG files, and once, or IPN files as well. And once that's done, I can click on start. Okay. Click on start and it goes and creates that folder because it didn't exist previously, as well as in copies all those files you see at the bottom over here into that folder over there. Okay, so there we go. Done. Great. And there we go. There's pack and go. And what it does over here as well, it tells, says place it ga.ipj. So it actually sets up a project file for you. And it says, you know, kind of renames the old one, gives you a log file as well of what's actually happening over there. Okay. And then in your workspaces, you'll see there is, oopsie, in workspaces, work group, there is all the components over there. Okay, So I think I didn't have the correct IPJ initially when I did the pattern go, so that's why it's, it's put this into the work groups, not in project. Okay, so just be aware of that. So you must have the project that you actually created those files with um, active. But yeah, so there we go. Select that, right click, zip it up, and then uh, send it through to whoever you want. Thanks very much for watching.